In this video, I'm going to introduce an incredible new AI coding or vibe coding platform that comes with five AI engineers or AI agents that can help you build highly complex SaaS, games, personal websites, or landing pages, or pretty much any web apps you can imagine. Well, I'm talking about MetaGPTX or MGX.dev. And now all you gotta do is to just explain what kind of app you want to build in plain English and hit enter and MGX.dev will get to work. It will go ahead and build a full stack app complete with authentication and database. Yes, MGX also comes with one click Superbase integration too. And now there's a lot to talk about MGX. So what I'll do is I'll quickly jump out to my computer screen and show you everything in action. And by the way, MGX also comes with a generous free plan as well. So you can take it out for a spin too. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is MetaGPTX or MGX. And this is the wipe coding platform that I've been talking about. And now if you do want to try out MGX, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to mgx.dev and you can sign up for a new account. And now once you log in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And it says build your ideas with agents and towards the center, you can find a input box. And now to quickly get started, all you gotta do is to explain what kind of app you want to build in this input box right here. Configure a couple of settings in here and as soon as you hit enter, the AI agent will get to work. And two cool features I like a lot about MGX is that the first one is that they have native Superbase integration. So in just a single click, you can add full blown authentication, database, file storage, edge functions, all that to your project to make it a truly full stack project. And not just that, as mentioned earlier, MGX comes with five AI agents, each for a specific use case or a task. For example, here you can find an option that says team and engineer. So if I select the team option, as you can see, here we have five different AI agents. So the first is Mike. So Mike is a team leader. Next up, we have Alex. Alex is an engineer. So Alex is going to be doing the most of the work, right? So he is the one who is going to be developing the app. And next up, we have Emma. And Emma is a product manager. And then we have David. And David is a data analyst. And then Bob is an architect. And more roles are coming soon. So basically, the idea here is that you can use each of these AI agents for a specific task, which I'll show you. And again, initially, when we are getting started, we'll be using Alex because Alex is the engineer. And again, if you want to connect to Superbase, all you got to do is to click on this button right here. And if this is your first time, you will find a button to link your Superbase account. And after that is done, you'll be able to find all your projects in here. So in which case we can first of all configure a Superbase project, I believe. So what I'll do is I'll head over to Superbase.com. And now I'll log into my account, select the organization. And again, if this is your first time, Superbase is basically a backend as a service platform that allows you to add authentication, database, file storage, API routes, or let's say edge functions, all that to your app very easily, right? So in this case, I'm actually using Superbase to make our app truly full stack. So I'll quickly go ahead and create a new project and let's name it, let's say AI folio and a random, let's say password and I'll select a region and click on create new project. Okay, so there you go. Here we have AI folio and the project is already ready. And now if I head back to MGX and if I click on the super base button and if I click on this one, I can already find the project that I created just now. So since we already connected super base, I can find the project and I'll select the same. And in this case, I'll keep the team option enabled and now, okay, what exactly are we trying to build? So basically the plan is that I want to build a website similar to there's an for that.com. So a lot of you might be already aware of this platform called as there's an for that.com, right? So basically it is a platform that allows you to discover like almost all the AI tools out there. And there's like two options. So as a visitor, I can explore all these AI tools that are out there. And as a creator or let's say owner of a AI tool, I can list that on this platform. And again, I can get access to a lot of traffic. So that's basically the idea. So I want to create a similar kind of a website. So basically I'm planning to create a website called as AI folio where regular visitors can browse and find tons of AI tools and a business owner or a website owner can list their website on our platform. And again, our app will include database authentication and all that complex stuff. So I'll quickly start by giving a simple text prompt. I want to build a web app similar to those near for that.com. Basically, it is a platform that allows regular users to find and discover latest and trending AI tools. And as a business owner or a founder of an AI tool, they can list their uh, tool on our platform. So basically, 
the visitors should be allowed to use our platform without having to log in but as a owner of a business or an AI tool if they want to list their product or let's say the AI tool on our platform they will have to sign up for an account so this right here is the initial prompt I'll begin with and now I'll keep it in the team mode and if I click on this button right here, I'll be able to find a couple more options. So here we have race mode and deep research. And now what exactly is race mode you ask? Well, let's say you are tackling a problem and you want to find the best solution. Well, you can enable race mode and now the AI agent will actually try out different options and find the best solution for a problem and then implement it. So rather than blindly accepting a solution and going forward, it will actually tackle the problem very tactically and then find the best solution and go forward. And if you enable deep research, the AI agent will do a thorough deep research to find all the details that it needs before proceeding. So you can enable both of that. So in this case, I'm not enabling it. But when we are, let's say, adding laser focused features to our app, we can enable that. I'll show you that later in a bit. And now if you click on this option right here, you will be able to select the AI model that you want to use. So in this case, here we have Cloud Sonnet 4, which is, by the way, default. Then we have GPT-5, Gemini 2.5 Pro. And if I click on this more models option, here we have DeepSeek Chat and, and also Quent 3 Quarter Plus. So in this case, I'll keep it as Cloud Sonnet 4. And now I'll click on the send button right here to get started. So let's see. All right. So there you go. The five AI agents within MGX has started working. And as you can see, Mike, the team leader is the one who started. And it says, I'll help you build a web app similar to those for that. This is a complex platform that requires user authentication, database functionality and content management. Okay, we can find all the tasks that it has created database schemas categories okay business owners page use of flow diagram all right and now it says please create a comprehensive product requirements document prd for an AI tool to discovery platform similar to the snare for that.com the platform should allow regular users to browse and discover AI tools okay list uh, search filter and all that okay and now it is even tagging the other AI agents that is Emma in this case so Emma is the product manager and now the team leader is giving all these instructions to the uh, product manager and now Emma will first research the market and create a detailed product requirements document really cool and then Bob the architect will design the system architecture including database schema authentication system and API structure and then finally Alex the engineer will finally develop the complete web application so I just started by giving a simple prompt as to exactly what I want to build and now five of these AI agents are working together to create the initial version of the app so as you can see, Emma will contact the research and prepare a in-depth product requirement document. Bob will design the entire app and like the system architecture, database schema, authentication and all that. And Alex will finally develop the complete web application. And again, you can also find exactly what all these AI agents are doing towards the left side right here. So as you can see, Emma, the product manager is currently doing a lot of this research and searching the web to find all the in okay data it needs. So it has found all these data like statistics and all that core functionality tool database management. Okay. All right. And now since all five of these AI agents are working, it will take some time. And now, okay. It seems like Emma is done doing the research and now it is creating the PRD or product requirements document and you can find the same. So towards the right side, I can find as Emma is creating this uh, AI tools platform PRD.md file right here. And now after Emma is done doing its job, then Bob will start working on the architecture or system design. And after that, uh, Alex will get started with building the actual app. And now it will take some time. So what I'll do is I'll wait till it is done and I'll see you afterwards. So there you go. Bob has prepared a lot of these diagrams and all that. So here we have AI tools platform sequence diagram, which is basically a mermaid diagram. And you can find the complete diagram in here. Then we have the platforms PRD, then we have platform design, then we have class diagram. So all of that is in here. So let's wait anyways. All right. So Mike, the team leader has came forward and it says Bob has completed the comprehensive system architecture design, which is now saved at. OK, here we can find the .md file. And if you're a tech savvy person and if you want to, let's say, view that, you have the option. And it says before Alex starts developing the web application, I need to know your preference for the backend since this platform requires user authentication and database functionality. And here we have two options that is Superbase, a fully featured backend as a service uh, platform, of course. And we also have the option for local storage. So in this case, we want to use Superbase. So I'll select the Superbase option. So now is where the real game begins. And as you can see, Alex has started writing all the code 
and currently the AI agent is writing the real code for our app and it will take some time. So now all you gotta do is to sit back and relax while the AI do its thing. And once done, you can find a preview of the website in here. So let's wait for it. So finally, after a bit of back and forth and it took some time and here we have our initial version of the app ready. And here we have, I mean, right now we don't really have any tools because we haven't really added any tools yet. So none of them are visible here. But towards the top, you have an option that says login and also submit your tool. So we designed the platform such that users can submit their tools and the submitted tools will be part of our platform. And now if I click on this submit your tools option, it takes us to a sign up page and we also have a sign in option. So as mentioned earlier, if a user want to explore all the tools that are available within our platform, they can freely visit it and without even signing up for an account, they can access all the tools. But if you want to, let's say, add a new tool to our platform, of course, then in that case, you will have to create a new account. And now if I head over to my Superbase project and if I go to authentication, so as you can see here, we don't really have any user in our project yet. And now if I go ahead, let's say, try to sign up for a new account by giving some, let's say, dummy email and dummy uh, company name and let's say a random password okay so there you go the account is now created is what it seems and now if i head over to authentication and if i refresh there you go here we can find the newly created email in here and we were able to create an account using a dummy email and that's because we actually disabled the uh, email confirmation option right here okay so the user authentication functionality of our app is indeed working and here we already have one user right and next up, we should be able to sign in to that particular account, right? So I can input the email in here, astro.astro.com and also the password that I just entered and moment of truth. And again, it also says that please check your email to confirm your account, then you can sign in. But in our case, we have disabled email confirmation and now I'll click on sign in. So there you go. It takes us to a page and it says submit your AI tool, share your AI tool with our community and help others discover innovative solutions. So just as to show you a demo, let's say, let's try adding ChatGPT, the ultimate AI chatbot from OpenAI. And next up, we need to provide a detailed description. For the time being, I'll just enter some random content. So maybe I can search for ChatGPT on Google and maybe I can open Wikipedia and then let's say copy some content like this and I'll enter that in here. Okay, that is there. And next up, website URL. So it is chatgpt.com. So I can enter that in here. Okay, so chatgpt.com. And again, we also have the option to enter a logo URL. Okay, maybe I can copy the image address from Wikipedia and I'll add the same in here. Next up, the category is going to be, okay, let's keep it as writing. Pricing model, let's say freemium. Tags is going to be AI, let's say AI, yeah, click on the plus button, the tag is entered and no moment of truth and no, as soon as I click on the submit tool option, the tool should be part of our website and should be made visible to pretty much everyone that visits our website. So I'll click on the submit tool option, it says submit tool and it says tool submitted successfully. So let's see, I'll head over to, so it says one plus AI tools listed, one verified tool and 12 categories and if I click on this browse tools option. There you go. Here we can find ChatGPT or the tool that we just entered. We have the logo, the title, the description. And if I click on this view details button, it opens up the tools details page showing us all the details, the information, category, website, tags, the detailed description that we entered and everything is in place. And now if I click on this visit button, it opens up the ChatGPT website, right? So the core functionality of our app is now indeed working. And next up, if you want to, let's say, submit a new tool, all you gotta do is to click on the submit tool option and let me quickly go ahead and fill in these details as well. So here I entered some dummy content about mid journey and I'll click on submit tool. Okay, submitted successfully. And if I go to browse tools, there you go. I can now find mid journey in here. And if I click on view details, I can find all this information in here. So the core functionality of our app is indeed working. And next up, if you want to, let's say, add new features or make any modifications to your app, all you gotta do is to just tell the AI and ask it to make any modifications. So in this case, it seems like we can only find the number of tools that are there in our platform in here. So basically, we also need to add a section in the landing page or the home page such that we display a couple of tools that are already part of our platform. So basically, we want to add that in here. So I can simply go ahead and give a follow prompt. So I can simply say, 
right now in the home page or the landing page we don't really show the tools that are added to our platform so i want you to add a section that displays the last five tools added to our platform okay so basically i want to display a couple of tools that are already part of our platform on our home page and now i can give a simple text prompt i'll select alex the engineer and then all of that looks good select the model and click on send and let's wait so as you can see the ai agent is now making the changes that we asked for so let's wait for it all right so there you go right now when i scroll down here we have a new section that says recently added tools and i can find both of these tools that we added in here and if i click on this view all tools section it opens up the browse tools page and just just to make sure the search feature in here works i'll simply search for the keyword chat and hit enter and let's see if we can find chat gpt so i can select chat okay there you go here we have chat and if we search for let's say mid and we have mid journey so pretty much all the core features of our app is now indeed working and now in a similar fashion if you want to let's say add new page or add any new features all you gotta do is to just give follow -up prompts as to what kind of changes you want to make and hit enter and now the ai will get to work and it will make all the changes and now this right here is the interface in which you'll be working when you're using mgx.dev and towards the bottom you can find a couple of options in here for example if i click on this drop down menu here i have a couple of options like editor app viewer terminal and file and if i click on this editor button i'll be able to find all the files or the code that is part of our website so for example let's say here we have the superbase.ts file then browse tool.cxx file and here we can find all the code and if i head over to this app viewer section it will show a live preview of the app and yeah there you go and now okay so it seems like the ai has actually added a bunch of sample apps in here so as you can see the AI itself has added, uh, you know, some dummy content just as to make sure our web page looks good. So here we have Grammarly, Jasper, AI, Notion and all that. And if I, let's say, search for Notion, it works as well. Okay. So that those are some dummy content, by the way. And not just that, here we have a couple more sections like featured AI tools, trending this week, etc. Okay. Really cool. So basically, if you are in the app viewer page, you will see the live preview of the app. And if you move over to the terminal section, you'll be able to find the terminal and all the commands that it has run and also the output. And if you click on this file option, you'll be able to find the files of the code. So it does not really make any sense. We will move back to app viewer. And again, here we can also test the responsiveness of the website by clicking on this mobile button right here. So if I click on the same, I can now open. Okay. So as you can see, our website is fully mobile responsive. And here we have all these cards. And again, we also have this related tools option and you know, Okay, so the AI has actually went extra step ahead and added the related tools functionality as well. And now if I click on this option right here, it opens up the console and currently we don't really have any errors. But in case if you have any error, you'll be able to find that in here. So I can close the same. And now that we have our app fully working, the next important step is obviously publishing the app and making it live. And towards the top, you will find a button that says publish. And if I click on the same, and I can click on this publish button. And as you can see, our website is now published and this right here is the URL. So I can copy the same and open it up in a new tab. Okay, let's wait for it. There you go. This right here is our app. And again, this right here is the is name for that.com. And again, we have the core functionality already implemented. And next up, you can go ahead and implement all other features to make it even more feature rich. And now for publishing the app, you have a couple of options. The first option is that you can publish it under the mgx.world subdomain, which is what we have for now. And again, if you want to, let's say, edit the subdomain, you can click on this edit option and edit the address and again if you want to let's say connect a custom domain and publish the same you can also do that as well so basically this is how you use mgx.dev to create a SaaS application or a web app just by prompting so all you gotta do is to head over to mgx.dev sign up for a new account and explain exactly what you want to build in this input box right here connect superbase enable the ai team hit enter and now the ai will get to work and again if i scroll down I'll be able to find all these projects that other people have created and if you want to you can actually view them by clicking on them so it opens up a pop-up and you can take it for a spin or let's say use it as well and again you also have the option to open it up in a chat also remix and make changes to it as well okay looks good so this is all i wanted to show you in this video so again superbase integration makes it even better so in just a single click you can add authentication database file storage and all that to your app and if you do want to create a web app using ai without writing a single line of code or without any technical or let's say coding skills all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below head over to mgx.dev sign up for a new account and you can start using it right away and i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one